Welcome fellow crypto addicts to the 8th project analysis on the Polkadot Parachain slot auction and this time we are taking a look at Clover Finance but before we get into the details here let me quickly point out to you that this video is not financial advice and that you should always do your own research before investing into anything. And now let's switch to the model. So today we're taking a look at Clover Finance. Um, its sister project of Sakura is currently competing for a parachain slot on, in the Kusama um, slot auctions. Um, um, just note that in contrast to the other projects we have looked at so far, this uh, Sakura or the sister project of Clover Finance has not yet um, been able to um, secure a parachain slot on Kusama and one could argue that this is a negative sign as they don't have um, a, a crowd backing them that's big enough or that they are not giving out enough rewards whatever they were not able to um, secure a parachain so far most of the other projects if they have a sister project um, on Kusama they were already able to secure a slot, so just keep that in mind. Um, but now let's um, look at what does this project do. Well, they're a smart contract platform and they're also doing a bit of DeFi. Um, their way proposal is that they will bring interoperability to Polkadot, um, most notably with um, Ethereum. And uh, also they're doing cross-chain integrations and they're aiming to provide a seamless multi-chain DeFi user experience. So all in all, this um, value proposal is fine. It's nothing too special, but it's also not nothing um, bad or uh, useless, so to say. Um, it gets interesting if we're taking a look at the Web3 Foundation grants because they have actually received one, but it was terminated. Um, I have no information on why it was terminated, but if some of my subscribers uh, might know it, um, please feel free to um, leave a comment below and um, yeah, tell us why this was terminated. Um, but um, nevertheless, I think this is also something that could be viewed rather negatively. And the project has um, 10 uh, big investors. Um, that's also um, quite a low number if we compare that with the other projects. Uh, most of them have more um, big or inst institutional investors um, backing their projects. So that's also their Clover is also uh, playing on the lower end of the spectrum here. Um, but let's look at the Phinomics. So the CLV token will have a total supply of 1 billion tokens. Um, I was not able to find anything out about the inflation schedule, but here again, if someone knows more than I, please feel free to um, write that in the comments. And um, now let's come to the allocation. So Clover is allocating 20% of their supply to the parachain rewards, which is a good allocation amount. Um, uh, higher than most of the other projects that we have looked at so far. Um, the team has reserved 10% of the supply for itself. This is also a good ratio, it's not too much, it's not too low. And 28% of the supply was sold to investors, which is all right. It's maybe a bit more than the medium, than the median, but um, also not too concerning. Um, it would be interesting to look at the Westing schedule here. Um, additionally, the project um, reserved 23% for the liquidity programs and 20% for reserve and development. Um, so all in all, I think the allocation schedule of Clover Finance is uh, good. Um, like I said, they're um, actually giving out uh, quite a big chunk for the parachain rewards, um, which is something that uh, you should uh, look out for. Um, and otherwise, the allocations are all right. But um, let's look at how many how many CLV tokens you can expect if you contribute one dot to Clover Finance. So at the minimum level, you can expect about four CLV. But actually, I think it will be rather in the 
in the amount of 25 CLV you get for one dot. So how did I assess this number? Now we switch the table again here, um, move a bit to the left side. So we're here at Clover, their hard cap in dot is um, 50 million, that would be in dollar wise, that would be around 2.5 billion. And please note that I'm still calculating with a price of $50 per dot. I know in the last days um, the price fell below the $50 mark, but for consistent for consistency, I would still apply the price of $50 per dot. Um, the sister project Sakura, as I already told you before, has a crowd loan ongoing. So unfortunately, we do not yet know how much um, dollar value they are able to um, um, yeah, raise um, in their crowd loan. So unfortunately we have no values here, but um, I expect um, Clover to raise around $400 million in funds. And why? how do I get to this number? Well, I was actually just um, copy, copying Latentry's number because I think Clover and Latentry uh, can be viewed as kind of similar as both of them are uh, rather small projects. Um, if we look back at the model, uh, we see that they have a lot of similarities. So first of all, their use case um, is uh, fine, but nothing too special. Um, it's the same for Latentry. Um, check out the video I made on Latentry if you're interested into that. Well, Clover had one Web3 Foundation grant and 10 investors looking at Latentry, one and 13, so actually uh, two, uh, three investors more. But also on the social sentiment level, if we compare their um, Twitter and Telegram users and followers, we see they're kind of in the same range here. So I think, um, for that reason, um, the projects are kind of similar, and I think both have a similar outlook on winning a parachain slot auction, which is not too likely they're succeeding, that they will succeed in the first batch. So um, I'll think that they are able to raise around 400,000, uh, 400 million dollars. Um, yeah, but if we, that would be 8 million dot. And if we now uh, look at the reward distribution, so they're distributing around 200 uh, million CLV rewards and per dot, you would then get 25 um, CLV tokens. And this is also what I noted here. Uh, unfortunately, I have uh, not read about any um, other um, special um, rewards that will um, increase the uh, amount of CLV tokens you get per dot, but um, there, if you enter their crowd loan, you will also enter an NFT draw where I think it was a thousand users can win an NFT. But all in all, I'm not very hyped about that. Um, a thousand users, it's not a lot. And uh, also you don't know yet what kind of NFT this will be. So. I don't think this is not a very special reward and uh, not a strong incentive to contribute to them. But um, as for as for the other projects, you can contribute to Clover Finance via Parallel Finance. And if you do that, you will get a slight reward in Para tokens. And if you use the um, referral link in the description below, you will get 5% more rewards on your Para token rewards. And the resting schedule is you can um, access 28% of your um, CLV tokens immediately. The rest is linear and this resting schedule is uh, quite good. And um, yeah, as you can get a good chunk um, out of your investment at the beginning, if you choose to do so. Um, coming now to the price analysis. Um, so the expected market cap after winning a parachain uh, slot I assumed to be around 450 million. So slightly higher than for Litentry. If we move back there, there I assumed 300 million. So why is it slightly higher than Litentry? Well, because um, they uh, are already have a wallet and they're, um, they are also a bit in the DeFi field, which I think will lead to more demand for the CLV token if they win than for the uh, lit token, which is, uh, um, yeah, if you come, I think DeFi at the 
at the moment now is just a big bit bigger than the decentralized identity um, services um, but that's just for now it could change in the future but let's just assume um, a market cap of around 450 million that is not too big actually and if we look at the sister token so sakura this token is already trading and they have a market cap of only 44 million so this is quite a low market cap for um, crypto projects um, in this uh, category and um, we're expecting a supply of about 25 percent um, i mean uh, i think about 22 percent i mean the clover token is already trading um, and they have uh, the circulating supplies are around 22 percent but you have to add the 28 percent of the parachain rewards that you will be able to access immediately so after if they secure a slot the circulating supply will um, increase um, a little bit or considerably um, and yeah that will also have a negative effect on the token price but what token price can you expect so I think currently Clover Finance is trading around $1.25 mm -hmm. um, per token I assume that the price of $1.80 is just fair for Clover Finance, so that would be the expected market cap divided by this expected circulating supply. So I think around $1.80 per token is a good expectation, but um, it can also uh, go up uh, the price. So um, if everything works out very well for Clover Finance, I think a token price of $2.50 per token is reachable but um, I would I'm not actually too bullish on Clover Finance but you know only time will tell and yeah well so here you see the price expectations low medium and high um, and then again if we are checking the market cap of the lowest price expectations oh, I'm sorry uh, that will be around 312 um, million US dollars which would rank them at spawn 270 or 625 million US dollars which would make them rank spot 230 which is I think a range that is feasible for Glo uh, Clover Finance to um, achieve. Um, for the social sentiment um, I gave uh, Clover Finance a rather low score. I mean, yeah, they have some Twitter followers and also some Telegram users, um, but their GitHub activity is uh, quite low. And all in all, like I already told you before, I'm not too bullish on this project. So what does that mean? Um, to summarize it all up, so the rewards you can expect for contributing one dot will be around um, twenty-six dollars, um, possibly a bit more, possibly a bit less. I mean, on as on the point of view coming from the rewards point of view, uh, Clover Finance is actually not a project that is giving out few rewards. Uh, well, they are. Uh, allocating 20% on of their supply to the parachain um, uh, crowd um, but um, all in all my sentiment on Clover is quite negative for the reason that Sakura, uh, Sakura was not able to um, get a parachain slot yet and they have that terminated contract and all in all their social sentiment is not that fine and I also think that they are unlikely to win in this batch of slot auctions so that's why for Clover I'm giving it a C rating and that was the video for today if you liked please leave a like and subscribe to my channel so you will not miss out on the upcoming videos um, also feel free to um, uh, share your opinion on the project of Clover and also if you contribute to any of these projects I would be happy if you use the referral link in the description below so you will get an additional 5% on your para reward if, rewards if you contribute via parallel finance. And that's it for today. Um, good luck with the auctions and see you next time.